Hey guys, RTT back here for the video. Guys, today we have a basic launcher. I want to say, at the same time, though, it's a launcher that I actually was just looking uh, through the different launchers and I was like, whoa, this actually looks kind of cool. So, we have looked at a lot of Windows 10 type launchers. The name of this launcher is actually Windows X Launcher and it says no ads because there's no advertisements on this launcher at all. Now, when it comes to this the, uh, launcher, it is pretty much plain and simple, but it's the most flush and clean Windows type launcher I have seen so far. Obviously, like I said before, we've covered a lot of different Windows type launchers on the channel and they've all been kind of of, you know hit or miss for the most part some of them have been pretty good they have their ups and downs some apps work some apps don't work some apps are glitchy some apps aren't glitchy and with that in mind it looks like this is actually the most flush and clean version of the windows launchers and i was reading through some of the reviews of this launcher and that's what a lot of people were saying too they were like this is a very clean and flush launcher we love this launcher because of the fact of how you know just you know actually um I say generic it is but how actually like in depth it actually goes so starting off right away we have our typical windows 10 type look in the right hand or left hand corner we have our windows icon just like that with our recent apps we have all of our applications our pinned applications and then obviously there is a paid service for this but you do not have to get that and you also have your settings your pictures and all that kind of good stuff you have your start panel you can resize this do whatever you want there in the middle we have Cortana which of course goes ahead and gives you all your different applications uh, you can also go ahead and speak into this if you want to go ahead and you know use your voice for it which I think is really really cool we have our home button which takes us back to the you know desktop whenever you are in the application on the right hand side we have our Wi-Fi we have our ringer and we also of course have our battery percentage so whatever your phone is currently at battery wise mine 36 percent and charging um, and then you have your date your and your time right there in the right hand corner now in the right right hand corner you have this right here which is just like it is on an actual pc which is of course your uh, notifications and also you have all your quick settings that you would have for your actual phone which is really really dope um now on the home screen on the desktop we have this pc recycling bin uh new folder chrome settings play store and so on and so on click on this pc and i scroll down you can see it actually looks like an actual like it would on windows 10 it has your you know your hard drives local uh, c drive your recycling your videos all that kind of content let's go ahead and get out of that recycling bin same concept and again like i said guys it is just that windows 10 type s look now we go ahead and click and hold on the home screen we go ahead and do it over here so you guys can see it a little bit better it does say add widget add shortcut add folder personalize and auto hide taskbar so if you want to get rid of the taskbar you can get rid of it uh which is kind of cool you can really customize that there but like i said before if you go ahead and hold on to an application you can click on either find on desktop pin pin to taskbar hide this app remove from recent apps and so on so on let's go ahead and pin this as you guys can see now it shows up on my taskbar just like it would on windows 10 so if you want to you can even have all your applications that you use on a daily on your taskbar at all times and the other applications that let's say you just don't use as much you can add them to your desktop to have them on your desktop just like you would on a real computer that's really really cool now if we go ahead and click on this again there is a option for add widget and we go ahead and click on add widget right here you can see it's a typical widgets we see whenever we do these launchers a lot of them are the same copied and paste list of widgets they're nothing really new uh which is just common you know I don't really like adding widgets to like a Windows 10 type as oh, s look I just feel like when you do that um um let me see yes i feel like when you ever do that and it doesn't look like the widget actually worked okay it doesn't look like it was actually worked but i just feel like there's i don't ever see a widget on my like desktop i don't use widgets on my desktop so i always feel like it's weird whenever you add a widget to a desktop i just feel like it's just e yes let's try that again okay it did not work again anyway though like i said widgets aren't really a big deal to me i don't really consider them a huge um 
you know, a huge thing for me. So if we go ahead and use this in phone mode, let's look what it looks like in phone mode. So in phone mode, it looks exactly the same, except it does look a little bit um, more compacted, I will say. Um, I do like it when it's in tablet mode more than phone mode. Phone mode is not bad by any stretch of imagination. It just feels like it's really cramped and like it should be a lot more uh, stuff going on than it is. And don't use it in... Don't use it in horizontal phone mode. That is absolutely disgusting looking. Okay. Let's see in vertical mode. All right. So this is if you use it like in vertical mode for your actual whole entire phone okay this actually looks okay um i would definitely say my preferred way to use it is like this my preferred way to use it is in horizontal mode in tablet mode because any other mode it's definitely not customized for those other modes i will definitely say that it's one of those things where it's like i probably wouldn't go with it but guys tell me down below your thoughts and opinions honestly i really will say overall i do like this launcher i think it's a i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 uh you know i've been giving a lot of launches recently a really high overall grades and a lot of these launches recently i think deserve higher overall grades but when it comes to this launcher i'm probably just not going to give it that high of a launcher grade because it is the same a lot of the concepts that we've seen recently with the surface duo launcher launches when it comes to windows 10 it's just the most flush and beautiful one but at the same time it is the same windows 10 type look and windows 10 type launcher so tell me down below your thoughts and opinions and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out